These two jerseys that you're looking at, one is American genetics and the other is New Zealand genetics. This one here on the left is the American genetics and the one behind her on the right is more of the New Zealand genetics. And it may not look obvious at first, but if you look at the front end of this American jersey, she's a little more narrow in the front end. She's not quite as deep as the one that has the New Zealand breeding. And, and that's the difference that you see uh, between the, the two different uh, genetics is the American genetics tend to be a little more, um, a little taller, a little more narrow, a little more what, what a, a dairy cattle judge might call have more dairy character, whereas the New Zealand style animal over here on the right you know, she wouldn't have a lot of dairy character necessarily because she does have that deeper and broader front end to her, uh, indicating that she probably can eat more forage as a result of, of having um, that deeper body, which means there's more space in the rumen. She has a bigger rumen probably. This American Jersey is a first calf heifer. The New Zealand one is a second calf heifer, so there's a little bit of a difference in their maturity. And, and development, but still I think the differences can be, can be seen. One other thing I, I would note is that if you can see their, their ribs along the side, um, towards the front, the, this American Jersey here, the ribs are a little closer together, spacing-wise, than they are in, in the New Zealand Jersey. So this animal that we're looking at the back end of is out of some uh, New Zealand Frisian breeding and just from the back end you can see how much wider her just her girth is. Uh, she has very large rumen, very large capacity to eat and uh, she's a little shorter than uh, some of the more traditional Holsteins that are in this herd. So that's more of a, a typical American uh, Holstein, the, uh, she's taller, uh, her barrel isn't, or her heart girth isn't quite as, as big um, as it is in the New Zealand Frisian that we just looked at. So that's some of the difference in the genetics. I, I, I think that the cow on the left probably uh, does better in this grass-fed situation than the one that's on the right that has the more traditional American Holstein breeding.